Carbon Art. We're gonna do something a little different today as usual. You know, I like to keep it uh, different. I'm going to try to recreate a butterfly. I actually, before I was a bloom artist, I was actually a painter. And I did um, portraits and figures and things like that. And I actually haven't painted in a while because I've been doing this. So I figured why not bring my painting brush talents and see if I could form after doing a bloom, manipulate the paint to kind of look like what I want it to look like. Number two, I hope you guys can hear me because the other day I was trying to do a video for a three foot canvas and I dropped my phone right into the paint and it's covered, all of the um, microphones were covered, so I don't even know how the sound quality is, but I hope you can hear me. So, I have a lot of colors going on. Um, what I've done, almost all of my colors are pigments and I've just added a dot of the two paint with it. So let's start with what we got. I have, and they're all color art pigments. I have African Jade, with a bit of turquoise. Um, and I have, I, I really love this blue, this um, sky blue Amsterdam with Arctic Opal. I really like them. They both give really nice peacock cells. I have this Payne's Gray, which is quite blue within the color art with um, Prussian blue. I've done um, Boysenberry with permanent blue violet. I've done jasmine with my favorite flu fluorescent violet. Um, I have <coughs> color art 24 karat gold left over with a bit of Arteza two paint. I've done, this is the only one without pigment, um, Matisse Napthal Scarlet. I really wanted a, a nice pop of color. And then I've done two interference, interference blue and interference violet, just to put in between the layers. And I'm using a Payne's Gray Cell Activator. If you wanna know what that is, you have to take the Shelly Art class and I have a 15% off code in the description. And my pillow paint today um, is my color to go, Sherwin-Williams. And I've made, because I'm using pigments, I've made my pouring medium um, a little thicker. So I've done about four to one to one. So it's really two to one, but because I use, um, in Canada, I have Watco tintable paint, four parts with one part Josonia gloss and one part polyacrylic. And I, they're still a little thin, but I'm also going to blow out I think with my mouth so I have more control over what I'm doing. So we'll see what happens. So <clears throat> this is a 16 inch wood board, panel cradled wood board. And I'm gonna go on the diagonal. And um, I don't know, <clears throat> I, was gonna, I was thinking of laying maybe darker colors on the bottom and then the top have lighter. <coughs> Sorry, and my allergies are acting up, um, but I'm not really sure. So let's start layering them. Maybe I'll start with a little purple on the bottom. So I'm going to put a little bit off center and not make it too big because I'm gonna spin it out, but we'll see. And I'm gonna do kind of like an X to see how it goes. And then because the, the top petals are blown out a little further, maybe I'll make the top part a little longer. All right, so next I'll go with a deep blue. Maybe I'll put the deep blue just at the bottom. Okay. And then I'll put, um, maybe I'll put a little, pink at the top. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Um, why don't I put a little interference blue? Just the blue. No. I'll put the interference blue at the bottom. OK. 
Okay. Um, then I'll prick the turquoise at the bottom. As you know, I never really know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll put the red at the top. Okay, I'll put the interference violet at the top. I'll put the Arctic blue. Maybe I'll put it just I'll go like this. And then I'll put the gold. Should I put the gold? Maybe I'll just put the gold on top. All right. So how am I gonna do this? Good question. So we have this going on. Can I even reach the middle? Not really. All right. So just looking at my picture for reference, I'm gonna try to blow out that way. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? I have no idea. So I'll just start with one dot as I try to blow out the first one. Okay. Let's see what happens. So, oh, I already got them in, okay, hold on. Okay. Now I'll try to go the, I'll put a little bit more. I'll try to go the other way. I might need to thin my cell activator a touch. Let's see. So now I'm blowing out that way. Okay. So, kind of pretty. So maybe what I'll do is I might actually, to make the body, maybe I'll do a little swipe down and then blow out. So let me blow out first that way. And then I'll do a swipe down and try to make it look like a butterfly. So, um, here we go. So we want to go a little bit here. Oops. Okay. Okay. It doesn't really look like a butterfly, but <clears throat> maybe I can start to manipulate it. And then I'll do another one out here. Okay. So right now, I don't know what we got going on. not butterfly-esque, but we can start to do what we want. So I want to blow these out more. Okay, I'm gonna blow this one out more as well. Okay. All right, and then, uh, I don't need that yet. I'm going to see <clears throat> in the picture, I like the top part so far. In the picture, the bottom ones are kind of coming on top. So, Take care of my stuff. I can't even open my scissors. 
Okay, never mind. I'll just <laughs> rip it. So I just want a little piece anyways. So, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of cell activator on this piece right here. And we're gonna do, for the body of thin, this piece might even be too big, but let me rip this. I just want a small piece. Okay. Well, I didn't really get cells so much on that one, but I think my cell activator is a little thick, but that's okay. We will keep going. Um, so now with my brush, you know what? I want these to come out more on the back. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, we're getting somewhere. Um, so he needs a little head with things and a little more of a body. But for now, I'm going to shape the, oh, I also got this stick that I might use. So for now, let's see, I'm just going to bring the white to shape. Let's see if that works. Okay, a little bit. We'll keep going, shaping this side. Oh, I didn't wipe it good enough. Wipe your tools. I'll just get rid of that paint I just did. Okay, so now we're gonna go around this way. Okay, and I'm now gonna bring it up that way. Or should I use my brush? I don't want to use my brush yet. Uh, let's see. Okay. Gives it a little better shape. Okay. I'm liking those kind of lines I'm doing. So I'll continue. Makes it more flowy. So, yep. Am I liking what I'm seeing? Maybe I'll make more of a boring but let me get the body going maybe thanks for sticking with me I've never really done this before so I don't really know what I'm doing maybe I'll just make his little antennas and then I'll figure out what to do with that gold so maybe with some blue I'm just gonna stick my stick in the blue a little bit I don't want it to drip too much a little bit of an antenna that way okay and then I'm gonna do another antenna Oop. see save that drip okay hold on and another antenna this way okay are we liking this I don't know here this is what it looks like so far okay so I wanted to fix the middle a little bit I mean the shape isn't great but we'll kind of see maybe I'll 
bring some pink down here to make the body. So I'll get a little bit of the pink. It's kind of dark down there. And then I will go like this and just add the body. Uh, I haven't used my, my brush yet, have I? Maybe I don't need it. Okay. And maybe I'll actually do a pink line to give the idea of a body. Okay, hold your horses. Here we go. Kind of. All right. Now. Um, so in the picture, maybe I'll have to do a better, maybe I'll blow up but this way a little bit. Okay. Get a better shape going. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to start to spin it and see what happens. I don't know. Here, this is what it looks like, okay? So, I'm going to only spin it a little bit. Oh, there's Sneakies. Okay. So, let me just get the edges off here. Okay. And then we will hope for the best. There's not many cells per se, but there is lacing. Because, hi babe. Hi, little boy. I'm making, okay, oh, what is it, what is it? Ah! Oh. Shh. It's a butterfly, babe. It's a butterfly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everyone's oh, excited. Okay, so I'm going to, what do you think of it? It's cool. I'm sorry, but he's excited to see me. Okay, pick him up. I'm trying to. Okay. Okay, I'm going to spin it now. But you saw it was a butterfly. Is it a cool butterfly? What, you're spinning it now? Yes. To do what? To make it bigger. To make the butterfly bigger? Yes. Is it going to turn out like that? Ah. Uh, this is your idea? Yes. <laughs> okay, don't disappoint it if it okay. doesn't turn into a butterfly. Okay, well, just slowly. Okay, I'm gonna, I can't look at it. <laughs> okay. I'll come back and tell you. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring it down a little bit. So it gets a little off center, maybe. Okay. I think so. Why is it so cold? It's cold here now, guys, because summer is starting to wind down. There's a little bloop. Oops, there's a little bloop I'm getting out. Okay, this is what it's looking like. A little bit more. I don't necessarily want the edges to go off, I don't think. I do wish there were more cells, but I think that's my fault because my cell activator was too thick. However, we're just going to go with the flow. And I'm going to try not to get that blue off. Okay, I mean... It's certainly different. Is it cool though? Should I get the blue off? Okay, this is what it's looking like. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll get this blue off a little bit. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, the middle's like not super exciting me. 
What I'd like to do maybe, I wish I swiped it pink. So, should I, or should I kind of sprinkle? So my other idea was to just splatter some hot pink on it. Um, is that too much? Maybe. Okay, well, let me look at it for a minute. I definitely need more pink. So, what I'm going to do is, hold on, let's see if this works. Thanks for sticking around, guys. <laughs> so, what if I just put a little bit of pink? Nope, too thick, maybe. So I'm just, I just put some pink on my, um, on my brush and I just kind of flicked it to see what would happen. So the paint is a little thick to do that. So what if I just, am I gonna ruin it? I'm not really doing much. Okay. So what if I thin out the pink? guys I don't know uh okay what if okay I'm gonna try some more pink but thicker like dripping it drip 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 okay and then I'm gonna Okay, getting a little better. Hi, sorry my phone died, but here is the final product. I just added a little bit more pink at the end. You can see the sparklies and I don't know. What do you think, babe? This is the same one? Yes. It's great. I, I told oh. you before I liked it. All Got right. It. It's not my thing, but Elliot says so. So we keep it. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Bye.